As I'm out of vacation for a week, I wanted to leave you guys with just a couple of simple videos, just giving you some insight as to some of the software that I use. I'm going to do one for more personal, and that'll be this video. And uh, later on, I will do one about the software I use for various business endeavors. So I want to mention here just like what types of things when I'm not doing business related stuff do I do? Well, I do Bible studies. I read books. I might listen to music. I might watch movies or TV shows or things like that. And so just looking at some of the basic Linux software, I looked around and it's like, is there really much I do? Not really, because I actually spend a lot of time in nature touching grass. So those times I don't be on, I'm not on the computer. But let's look at some of the software that I do use on my personal life just for fun when I'm not getting work done. So first, of course, we are on my Endeavor OS system. So Arch-based system running Cinnamon OS. I have that set up just the way I like it. I got my nice little... Um, it's just carry a menu on the side and, um, basically everything I need over here. So the first software package is I like to read a lot, Calibri or Caliber or however people always yell at me, you're pronouncing it wrong. Tomato, tomato, my friend. Um, I'm just going to keep it, keep calling it Caliber. Uh, if you don't like that, deal with it. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is an excellent, uh, place where you can, uh, you can manage your ebook applications. You can manage your ebooks. You can even edit ebooks. So, this one here has a list of most, not every, but most of the ebooks that I have are on here. And on, inside of this here, then you can uh, also convert different books around. So, like uh, here's uh, this one's an EPUB file. And if I wanted to have this in a different device, I can right click and I can convert the book to something else. So if I can do convert individually and I can choose what format I want to convert it to over here, I can also make adjustments to any meta tags or anything else that I might want to, uh, might want to do. And so there are uh, a number of things you can do. Now I source my books usually from project Gutenberg among other places. And uh, this does allow me to plug in a Kindle book that has a Kindle application or a, a Kindle device that has never actually been on the internet. And I've, once you plug it in, you'll see another button up here for the device will show up. And then this will allow me to simply push books over on that device. And that way I can add books or remove books from my Kindle device. So there is my first application. Uh, the next one here is VLC. So VLC is what I use just to listen to music as I'm doing Bible studies or other things as I'm just kind of navigating through, um, you know, when I'm not doing videos or things like that, I'll do music. I use VLC. I basically just drop all the music that I want directly onto this computer. Just simply go down to my music and just click on something I want to listen to. And most of it's just basic. Um, uh, most of the stuff is just basic, uh, easy to listen to things for background noise that uh, uh, isn't a lot of full active stuff. I do have a lot of other music as well. I'll listen to that usually when I'm driving. But VLC is nice and handy. I can access network shares if I want to. I might use this if I pop a DVD in the drive as well. Let's go down to here and hit DVD and open and it'll play anything. So uh, VLC is just a nice, good general media player. Although typically I'll only use this one for doing our um, music. As far as doing video files, I usually use my best friend, uh, the K word here, Cody. And if you've been around my channel long enough, then you know that uh, we joke about this one a lot because I get a lot of strikes for just talking about this application. I don't want to talk about it a lot, but this one actually accesses my NAS server. Uh, this is actually uh, where I do have a list of other artists on here as well. So a lot of different music from a lot of different people uh, over there. And uh, I have that. And I also have a lot of uh, Christian sermons over here. These are all the video sermons. And then I'll also have, uh, I think I have another section here specifically for, um, uh, 
non-video sermons as well. That one's just videos. So you can uh, play around with this. Like I said, I'm not going to get into a whole lot more with that because um, YouTube tends to not like me talking about an application that's available for download inside of their app store. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, when it comes to Bible study, I do a lot of Bible studies and I use uh, Bible Time. There's a couple of different applications. I find that Bible Time is the one that works best for me for doing basic study. I have it set up quite nicely. Um, and this is usually, I just keep this framework here using an NASB with the Greek on the top for uh, just doing some basic stuff. And then down here, I do NASB, ESV, and King James to compare them. Right now, you can see we're in the Malachi study. The bottom one uh, frame is usually the current book we're doing, our in-depth study, and the top one just jumps to different verses. I have it set up nicely with a nice Strong's Dictionary. I can hover over any word there. And, uh, of course, any of these, I can see what the, the text is there. Click it. You can go right to it. This application does work great uh, on Arch. Although, actually, I think on Arch, I think there is a ver an error with the latest version where um, the on all of these cross-references, the first reference is not hotlinked. And so I think I have actually rolled this back to 302 to make sure it still consistently works. And then, of course, the other thing that I will use is going to be various web browsers. You can see I have three different web browsers open here right now. Uh, and I always recommend using a cornucopia of different web browsers. Use them for different reasons. So the default browser is Firefox, and I have this hardened down. And uh, right now it's actually just on my, my NAS. This is my Open Media Vault NAS, which controls all of my file backups. Uh, media entertainment and everything else I might need over over on here. So uh, that is over here. Yes, this is an old version, but it works great. I like it. I have backups of it and it is air gapped from the Internet. So I can access this without any hacker getting in here and tinkering around. No Internet access to this device. All right. So, um, of course, for web browsers, I like using uh, Firefox as the default, but it's not signed into anything. Um, I do use um, uh, I do use Vivaldi for one of the YouTube channels. I use Brave for another. I have LibreWolf for when we do need to do general searching stuff. Here's a Chromium in the event I see that. And I think that might be all the browsers I have on here. Now I am looking at potentially swapping out Vivaldi with another browser. Uh, I want to have a look closer look at the Zen browser as a new one coming up. So I want to have a look at that one. Uh, but I always recommend having a number of different web browsers on your computer for different purposes because it does keep a, a pretty good level of isolation away from everything. And then, of course, the last application, we have our Matrix server up there. I don't know what's on the Matrix server right now. There you go. Okay, we're just on our general, so that's good. So our Matrix server, this is just kind of where a bunch of us hang out. We uh, end up chatting. We, um, we have discussions on... Uh, anything, everything, some things, no things, whatever. Uh, lots of memes over here. Small car. Okay, that's a small cat. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, uh, Matrix allows us to communicate. We have a number of channels for the channel. And uh, I am including this one with the fun because I really hang out with a lot of people over here. And uh, we chat. And uh, uh, a lot of times I'm here. I'm on the board. But I don't do a ton of interacting. I do mostly the interaction with the trusted, which is actually mostly people I've met personally. So... Uh, that follow the channel as well. And uh, that really is uh, what we use here. But it allows us to do one-on-one -on -one communications, allows us to have the encrypted communications, and it also allows us to, if we wanted to, I think we could actually use this for uh, our calls or things like that. But I actually use uh, Jitsi for most of our, our off-air calls. So there is a brief look at the personal software that I use, and I will have another video later on this week on the software we use for business, which will be a much bigger video.